Hello there. This is Beth Green, otherwise known as Granny Rocks, and... And I'm Sweet Baby James. Happy to see you tonight. So, tonight I'm going to talk about tiredness. I don't know if you ever feel tired, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think we all feel tired. So, sometimes tiredness is not what we think it is. Oh, really? So, yes. It's not purely physical? It's not always physical. No, indeed. So that's what I want to talk about tonight. And I hope that you are with us and that you watch with us. Okay. But before I talk about that, I'll let Sweet Baby James introduce you to our show. Welcome to Granny Rocks Our World, otherwise known as Grow, where Granny shares her wit, her wisdom, her uncommon sense. She rocks our world every time. <laughs> so far <laughs> and we air every monday and wednesday night 6 30 p.m pacific so stay with us and keep coming back okay you, shall we begin okay so my topic is when we feel tired but the cause is different from what we believe a lot to think about so i started thinking about this because i very frequently feel tired but have you ever noticed that uh, when you really want to do something or you're excited, oh, I'm going to go to the beach or I'm going to the forest or uh, I'm going to go see my girlfriend, you suddenly feel a spurt of energy. Oh, I'm going to play the piano or something. And then when you think, oh, I have to go to work or anything, you know, you know. anyway, maybe you don't feel <laughs> quite as energetic. Now, I am not saying that there isn't such a thing as physical fatigue. I have chronic fatigue and I know what it is to be fatigued. Mm -hmm. But what I am saying is that sometimes, just sometimes, there's another cause. Now, uh, why don't we start with fear? Because fear is always a good one. Oh, right? definitely. Fear-based so behavior is great. So, so many things are based on fear. All right, so uh, Helen said, hi, Beth and James. Helen is here. Thank you for seeing. So we're so glad. If you come on and you don't say you're here, we can't acknowledge you. Oh, and Bob said, hi, Beth and James. Carol was watching. All right. right. Yay. We hope that means you're watching. <laughs> oh, too. So, okay. What can I fear and what would that have to do with being tired? Well, Helen says, I've been tired so many times when I wasn't just being tired. Yes. Thank you, Helen. You are right with it, right? <laughs> okay. Sometimes fear feels like, like tiredness because if we are tired, we just can't do something. You know, we might as well just like put up our feet, uh, have a rest, watch TV, you know, whatever, drink a glass of wine. So what could we possibly be afraid of that would make us think we were tired? Well, we could be afraid of our spouse. Maybe he doesn't want me to do something and I suppress myself. Now, Helen just said, fear blocks the flow of chi. <laughs> and by chi, Helen means, you know, the life force. And that is exactly what I'm talking about. If I am afraid of my spouse disapproving of me, then suddenly all that life force just stops dead in its tracks. Helen says, I'm spending so much of my energy struggling with the fear that I have no energy to move forward. And then you're making so many good points, Helen. And that's another great point, because when we're fear in fear, we are distracted by the fear. I'd like to add another point to that. Yes. Which is, when we're in fear, we're contracted. And yes. when we contract, we squeeze down the energy. Yes, exactly. Exactly. And we get distracted by fear. Oh, I have to think about this, and I have to think about that. And I, I really can't do this, because I haven't done this yet, and I haven't done that yet, and I'm not ready. And bleh, bleh, bleh. Okay. Now, let's take a look at... Are you imitating me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm imitating me. Imitating Anxiety you. is a very familiar... Very story. familiar. So I love this. So now, let's say, what could I be so afraid of that I would uh, get tired? Well, um, oh, it looks like we have another... Why isn't do, this showing up? It needs to go over to the left. It's not we doing... Don't have the bar. Well, it looks over. like... REA has something to say. This over, yes. Oh, you can have the bar. See? You're going into the bar. Okay. Would you please do that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. REA said hi, Beth and James. Hi, REA. All right. I am afraid that 
aside from okay we talked about my husband or wife or friend or mate or mother or children don't want me to do something and so i suppress myself and my life force mm -hmm. so that i don't explode see and this is a lot of what this show is going to be about wait till the end you'll see what i mean by okay. the way you left out father don't a father, the father. oh god could never Many forget or the grandfather or or some godlike creature or the pastor or the rabbi mm -hmm. or you the guru oh, or something yeah. okay supposing i do it so why would i acquiesce to the, give in to this well supposing i do something i may be exposed as a fraud 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 <laughs> if i postpone something forever no one will know that i am a fraud like oh we're really great musicians but we never get out there and play because and then because nobody will ever know that we really aren't great musicians right Oh, uh, hey, fear that we may be criticized for what we do. And when we're criticized, <gasps> oh, so many of us turn against ourselves. And that's, you know, another show. I think I've already talked about that. You know, how afraid we are of being criticized because it brings up feelings of shame and on not being valued and the tribe won't want us anymore. So we just, instead of going out there and proving to the whole world, uh, that we're no good, uh, 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 we'll just uh, collapse inwards, and I, will, I think I'll just get tired. Because I don't want to admit that I'm not that I'm not doing it because I'm afraid. I I, I want to just say I'm tired. Okay, supposing number four, I or five or whatever number this is. Supposing if I actually try to move forward, I will fail to accomplish my goal. God forbid, even though I try so for example supposing i was thinking about running for office well i'm so much too tired to run for office because it'll be so obvious <laughs> that if i don't win the election you know sort of hard to hide helen says it takes a lot of energy to hide you are so right so there we are sapping ourselves of the energy in order to hide, in order to not face the fear that we're afraid to face because of all of these things that I'm talking about. Okay. Supposing I won't be able to convince people that I'm right, even though I try, and now I will have failed to do that too, right? I can't convince you that this is true. So why even bother? I think I'm just too tired uh now so that sounds like a discouragement could be tiring that's right afraid of being uh of, of failing again i will be visible visible so people will look at my body and crit criticize it like they're going to see that i'm too fat or i'm too thin or i have you know funny nose or bad skin or wrinkles or whatever it is. So uh, 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 I can hide, right? And then nobody will ever see that. Or people will notice that I have a speech defect or people will notice that I lied on my resume because <laughs> the, something will come up, especially if I'm running for office. Every lie I've ever told is going to be exposed, right? Okay. Another reason that we become fearful that that would cause us to be just too tired is a, uh, People will know what I think if I speak up. And then they'll take me to prison, expel me from school, fire me from the job. I think I'd rather be tired. Or people will know what I think and tell me that I'm wrong. Wrong! And I won't know how to defend my position because, see if you identify with any of these, I don't have a good memory for facts. So how am I going to be able to defend my position? That's me. I Or I haven't even thought it through and I'm just talking out my you know what. Or I actually am wrong. Oh my God, we can't have anybody discover that. I think I'll just get tired. So supposing I speak up or do something, it uh, I won't fit in with my friends which I don't anyway, because if I really think a certain way, then I really don't fit in with my friends, but then they're going to know that I don't fit in with them. And, and then I, I'm going to lose the popularity contest, which I've already lost because I already don't fit in with my friends or my life partner won't approve of me. And that could be catastrophic loss of income, loss of security, loss of home, or I will be criticized for taking time away from the really important things of life such as cooking for my family, 
making delicious dinners, right? Taking my kids to dance lessons, um, volunteering, looking noble, or cleaning the house. I can't do any of those things because then I could be criticized for all of that. So I think I just better clean the house and be too tired. Okay. I feel like I'll be wasting my time because nobody is listening anyway. So why should I even start? So then I suppress myself and going back to Helen's wonderful point, when I suppress myself, I suppress my life force and I am hiding and I put a lot of energy into doing those things. Now, I just want to mention another reason that we might be tired. I've been talking about fear. You're going to love this. I hope it's because I'm really angry. I'm actually tired because I'm angry. Now, I'm talking, you know, we have a, an audience all over the world. We have viewers everywhere. And some of you may not agree with me, but I don't care. I'm going to say it anyway. I'm going to tell you what I feel. I am angry at my government for ignoring global warming while the Amazon burns and the desert grows and the and this wildlife and everything suffers and they keep acting like this isn't an issue i am angry about that i am angry at businesses who have historically dumped toxic substances into the woods and the waters of our nation and we keep scaling back on our environmental protection I am angry at my mate, not this one, but I could be angry at my mate who believes in things that I despise, which is not this one. But I mean, some of us have that. We actually are married to people or mated to people whose beliefs we find despicable. And here we have to say, well, I think we, I think I should just get tired uh, because I'm afraid of what the consequence might be because all of this comes back to fear, right? I am angry at my mate because of the way he or she treats the kids the dogs, wildlife, the garden, the environment, the car, the house, right? The, I, the you. The, the me. Oh, well, that was my next point. Oh. I'm angry <laughs> at my partner, mate, boss, whatever, co-worker, because of the way he or she or they treat me. And I'm angry with myself for not changing my life in ways that I can And that I am not confronting things that I am angry about. And so I have all this anger that's unexpressed. And where does it go? It goes into depression. Helen says, I totally agree. I noticed that with a new client this week who suffered from a lot of self-judgment and shut down, but under it was anger. It made him just give up. That is so sad. How many of us are really angry, but we just give up? And then we feel tired because all of that anger is coming back to us. And we feel shame for not doing anything about it. Or we feel terrified of the consequences of doing something about it. So it turns into tired. So why should anger make me tired? Because uh, of, uh, I'm afraid of my anger. Because if I let myself feel my anger, I might not be able to stop myself from doing or speaking or acting in a way that is going to just, just that is going to jeopardize my safety. Now, it's safer to be tired. It's safer to be numb. It's safer to be passive. It's safer to blame immigrants for the loss of jobs than to blame automation, which is the real culprit that is linked to an economic system that favors the few. Oh my God, we can't take that on. Oh, let's go after the immigrants. They're the cause of everything. But is it safer? No. Because global warming will continue to get worse and worse. It may be too late already to even redeem, you know, the, the, the life that we've had. We may have to start adjusting. And it's not safer because our economy will continue to be skewed toward the powerful. Now, how 
safe is that? And one more thing I'd like to throw in here. When I am tired because I'm so afraid of taking one of these actions or confronting something or going out there and trying to sing or play the keyboard or my fear of being criticized of all of that, I will be, as I've mentioned before, not safe with myself because if I look into my own heart, I will see a cauldron of self-disgust. That will make me not safe to be with myself. I, my heart goes out to those people who live in societies that are so oppressive that you take your life in your hands every time you say or do anything that's going to upset anybody. But I will tell you that I believe in every society there is a collective consciousness that keeps us in place, that tells us what we should think and how to behave. And we all have that. And each one of us grew up in families where most of us, I would say, have grown up in families where we were never taught how to think. We were and taught to obey and do what we were told. That's right. Or to recite back to the teachers uh, what they taught. Or it taught us to be selfish in trivial ways rather than stand up for what is really important. Oh, my God. We all have this in varying degrees. So I hope that you all think very hard about what I've brought up tonight, that you ask yourself, when are you tired? Do you get more tired when you get home from work? And you've got to face your family. <laughs> you know, what, what is making you tired? How much of it is your fear? Fear of what? And how much of it is your anger that you're afraid to express? Think about that. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Oh, by the way, don't forget, every Thursday night, Dreams of Peace, I play the piano. And I send out, hopefully, healing vibrations to everybody in the world. And, um, who listens. Who listens. And that's at 7 p.m. Pacific time on Thursday nights. And we will be back on Wednesday for GROW. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.